So till yesterday, uh, Vijay, you can can you hear me? Yeah, able to hear you. Okay. So till yesterday, we have created this area chart uh, dashboard, different type of area charts. So this is a stack area chart. This is multi major, then multi dimensional, and this is a combo chart or dual combination chart where you can have a comparisons, better comparisons, right? Bar versus line so that you can set this is the target and whatever you have achieved, that would be your uh, real-time uh, data. This would be estimated. Now this would be the analysis comparison based on the boys and girls. So I change the icons. So up to this it is okay, right? Yes. It is clearly under Now today, what we'll do, uh, we have seen how to create a sheet, right? How to, this is called sheet or worksheet or object, okay? Uh, or we call as a KPI. Now this is a dashboard. Dashboard is not an object or not a KPI. It is a frame which used to compose multiple elements or object in the dashboard. It's just like a skeleton. And then the story, when you have a more number of dashboards, let's say I have uh, three dashboards here, and when I finish uh, when I finish these all objects, I may have maybe uh, you know 20 dashboards. So to accommodate with those 20 dashboards in this uh, horizontal bar would not be a good you know would not be possible. So they would have a scroll bar here, or they would have this paging here, which will not look good and which will not look easy for user to navigate from one tab to another tab hmm. and for instant navigation it is also difficult so that's why we will create a story so story is a concept of a kind of paging just like you have a paragraph this is a paragraph this is a picture in a page now multiple pages are accommodated in a book okay and they are called story here so story is a kind of book where dashboards are the pages and objects as the paragraphs. Okay, have I make sense? So let's do one thing. Let's uh, create two stories and accommodate these three dashboard in each. Okay, so I will create one story. Increasing revenue analysis, sales analysis, or trend analysis. So, I'll just give the story name as sales, sales trend. Anything I will give the name. Now, this is a story here. Here we have a cup a number of uh, tabs where you can align individual dashboards and inside this uh, page individual pay, uh, tabs should have individual pages where you can arrange multiple dashboards okay so say revenue dashboards now here I cannot hide this uh, dashboard okay just like, like we hide it uh, you know uh, the objects the only objects those are consumed by a dashboard that can be hidden Likewise, the only dashboard which is consumed by a story that can be hidden. Are you here? Yeah, but uh, one more thing. Can we hide these stories? For example, if I am creating 5-6 stories mm -hmm. and I want to hide one or two stories, and that means? Uh, that's actually uh, the optimum object. Okay. So, if you just hide the seed, definitely, but the story cannot be hidden, but yes, while deploying the dashboard, you can selectively uh, deploy the stories so that it would be treated as hidden. Okay, in in, in your dashboard, uh, in the desktop, you may have all uh, multiple uh, stories, but while deploying, you can deploy one or two stories, and rest you can keep it. I mean, so deploying be there while publishing, you are saying, or what? Yeah, yeah, publishing. Okay. 
But after publishing, if so, you want to hide, means uh, that can't be possible, right? No, no, no. There's no sort of option actually here. Mm -hmm. Hide all sheets. That means you know. Uh, See, this dashboard is consumed in this story now, but here, now you see, the dashboard is having this option called hide sheet, right? Because this dashboard has been used in the story. But if I not just use any other dashboard, and this one, sales analysis, right click here, are you getting an option? No. Hide sheet option I'm not getting. But hide sheet option I'm getting here. I didn't get that, uh, Amit. No, uh, so I mean, say this particular dashboard called revenue analysis. Okay. okay. It is used in the sales trend analysis story. Yeah. Whenever it has been used, and it is now visible in the story, mm -hmm. there's no matter to uh, show it again in a separate dashboard. So that's why Tableau enable hide option so that it can be hidden. Okay. okay. Now in order to can be hidden, right? Right, dashboard. This particular dashboard can be hidden. Other cannot be hidden because okay. they have not used in this story. See okay. here, revenue analysis. I am getting this option. This is it is already hidden. Okay. Now this particular dashboard. On hide all sheets. So, oh sorry, hide sheet here. This can be hide hidden now because this particular dashboard is. Okay. I'll just hide it. Here it is being hidden. But others are not option to hide this because they have not used in as such it is not used in any dashboard or any story. Okay. And one more thing, can we use uh, this my I mean the dashboards in multiple story points, for example, uh, revenue analysis is there. The dashboard can I use it in two stories? No. No, because this is one story updated, a revenue analysis has been used. If you would like to see this uh, another story, are you getting this revenue analysis? No. So in order to avoid repetition or duplicacy, Tableau uh, shows the dashboards in such a way that no dashboard has been used in another dash stories, they would not be visible in a new story. Okay. But we can duplicate it and uh, rename, right? That way we can do yeah. it. That we can do, yes. Okay. We can do, we can rename say uh, sales analysis one and two, and uh, that we can use in a multiple dashboards. Okay. And the one more thing, so we have created this dashboard, right? We want to uh, export into Excel the complete dashboard. Uh -huh. So how we can do that? For example, sales is there, right? We want to completely export it. Huh. You can export the data. Dashboard, the UI, mm -hmm. it can be exported in a form of a PWE file, one book file. Okay. It can be internally exported and the data can be exported to Excel. Okay. So that, Excel data means uh, go to analysis and export the same way or a different option? Here yeah, also simply view data. I mean, this is coming for only one sheet, right? Huh. But dashboard is nothing like, you know, it is not keeping the data or not, it is not understanding the about the data. It is just a frame, just a container with, which, uh, you know, contains these uh, uh, objects. Or objects understand the data. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I got that one. Actually, if I want to get the underlying data of all these uh, three sheets in the complete dashboard. Mm -hmm. So how all the sheets? Uh, yeah, all the sheets data. Uh, that so far. No, it is not specifically. It will either you will get the entire data, or to uh, entire data of this dashboard. Uh, entire data of this, uh, uh, you know, extract, or you'll get the data of the objects. But in the dashboard, dashboard that does not have any entity. It is just a frame, which even under, do not understand the uh, data. So you can get the entire data of uh, objects, or you can get the entire data of uh, data, you know, 
data source. Oh. So this is my data source. Okay, export all, or you can get it into the CSV or Excel file. Okay, so that you can do easily. You can take the data from this dashboard and you can use in a another uh, uh, this uh, uh, extract file or CSV Excel file. Okay, so this extract is actually for uh, one object, right? That is customer wise you have taken. Extract, extract file. Oh, the uh, extract, extract file is. Okay, the data source. Data source file. That data source file, you can export the extract as well as you can export the uh, flat files out of extract. Okay, so so that you can do, oh. and you can also take the data of a specific object. Okay, and. To, in order to get the data, in order to get the dashboard, you can get it in form of PDF, you can get it in form of uh, worksheet file, Tableau worksheet, uh, Tableau workbook, okay, they don't do oh. Just uh, right click on that one and uh, click view and export all, that's it, right? Yes, correct. Now here, we were, where we are, uh, we are here, huh? Yeah. Revenue. I don't want to show this title again because uh, I would just give the title right here only. Mm -hmm. So let's say rename sheet and just copy this one, and here I will just give the title. So it's it would be acted acted as a title of this dashboard. Mm -hmm. Now for revenue analysis, let's just hide its uh, dashboard title, like with sales also. In uh, you make the dashboard open, then you can show the title. But if you bring it to the story, I don't. It's no matter to show the title once again in the story, hmm. yeah. because in the story, the tabs itself act as a title. And here, I even don't want to show the story title because this tabs will be also working as a title of the story. So here we have show title that we can uncheck and hide the title of the story. Okay. Now one more thing. That's the orientation or the dimension of the screen. That you can do by changing it to automatic. Okay. So if you make it automatic, it can be easily shown in a projector, it can be shown in desktop, laptop, or tablet, in any specific or miscellaneous uh, gadgets. Okay. Simply drag those two right here, then trend analysis. Okay, I'll drag it here to just very easy. Okay, simply drag here and there will be arranged in a story. Then you see here, these are uh, being used and I can hide them. But this is not used, there is no option to hide it. Okay. Okay. Now the second story, what I can give the name is uh, comparative analysis. Just changing the name, otherwise even the story name, the object name, the uh, the dashboard name cannot be same. So a little bit I am changing the convention. So now what I can do? Just, I can just drag it here. Very easy. Then I can squeeze the object. Then uh, copy this name. Then I can put it here. Then I can drag the second object. I copy this name and put it here. That object. Now what else I have to do here? On show title and automatic. Easy. Now it is a little bit wider so I can stretch a bit mm -hmm. and this is done then about this uh, here it is simply added as art caption so I can so 
so which of the dashboard among the list has got the tick mark that we can say that it is a uh, this particular dashboard so self analysis this is self analysis this is trend analysis i can see the uh, dashboard in a tool tip okay simply tool tip one then i can add this Amit, uh, what is the difference uh, you're getting there? The tick mark and non-tick mark. I didn't get that. Non tick mark means those dashboards are not belongs to this uh, story. Okay. They would be tick mark. But those dashboards are belongs to or used in this story. It is tick mark. Okay. See this particular uh, object. It is there, but it is not used anywhere in this story. Okay. There is no tick mark here. Mm -hmm. Then I will change the. Um, but we haven't used the other ones, right? For example, uh, in compare to analysis story point and in storyboard, we used uh, some dashboards. Yeah, here we have used uh, three dashboards, and these are showing tick marks here. Uh, but we are not using the other three, right? Why it is not showing here? Because since it is used in other story point, it is. Hidden there. Okay. So then just make it on hide. This two have been on, on hide. Now come to this uh, story here. This story. Yeah. Here we can see this two dashboards. But it, it's not mean that you can it is uh, uh, belongs to this dashboard. It is using another dashboard, but they are hidden. Okay. In this we are uh, going here, but high sheet, high sheet. That will not be visible. Okay. Go to story format. Default color change. So this I given. Second story. Default color I am changing this one. Okay, likewise I will give some color. So make the to make a difference. Now uh, I've got two stories whereas I have a lot of objects. First story is this one. Looks nice, right? Um, it has the tabs, then overall structured data. I mean, I have broadly two models. Which is showing here in the bottom. This one is the first model. Inside that, there these three are the sub models. Okay, this is a book. I just arrange those pages into different two different books. First book have three pages. First three pages have this first paragraph. Then, then second book has got this one. Yes, and this. Okay. Okay. So it is all about story. Now let's go through the other objects. Uh -huh. So far we finished this one. Amit, one more thing here. So you are navigating from one dashboard to other dashboard, right? In that, I mean, clicking on that one. Instead of that, can we get uh, uh, an arrow like that? I mean, for example, in the right hand side. Uh, can you specify left arrow mm -hmm. and right arrow so that uh, it is used to navigate both the sides? Can you go to the dashboard one? Yeah, you can. The story point. We can do it. We can do that. I would like to show you here. Okay.
these are all the dashboards but these are the landing pages okay. first of all we will have the landing page and here say i have this uh, analysis for this one this is one tableau server so where i have deployed the dashboards so here is a landing page hmm? uh there is nothing here only the kpis now you can move to individual dashboards now i'm getting individual dashboards now here in the bottom you can see this i've created a menu a lot of effort needed for this only for the designing because in tableau we don't have such you know implementation that will repeat the same thing everywhere you have to create this particular section in every dashboard sorry i didn't get that you need to create in this kind of images then navigations actions so that action i'm not uh, completed so far this kind of actions to action you can navigate to individual pages so oh, there is no such common object which you can create one and use it you have to replicate it in the every in the same dashboard same thing in every dashboard okay say i have here seven objects seven buttons okay i have used, you have seven into seven 49 uh, uh, objects here oh i didn't get that each uh, i mean for example population overview has seven objects huh, huh. yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now okay you go to adwords event analysis here also I have to use seven objects, and there we have to use uh, those uh, navigations. Okay. So we have a designer who designs all these kind of you know navigations and all these pictures. But yes, you can do the navigations, and from design aspect, as much time you you know invest there, the dashboard will be more beautiful. So it requires the time. Hmm? If you only focus on the KPIs, then you can easily navigate from the tabs. Uh, later, can you uh, just brief me of how to do this one? Yeah, I would show how to create the landing page, okay. and for the same example, you will do here yeah. same type of thing like this one here. From a button, how to add a button and how to navigate. If you know this, then you can design by your own any type of design. Okay. Okay. So let's say this is my first landing page. uh this one then from here from this button you can navigate to in different pages i have only uploaded this one i mean only in public you can do or uh, you can do it okay i'll tell you i'll tell you in the in the landing page you'll get the buttons then you'll navigate to individual tabs and the same practice you can follow in every pages i'll guide you okay because Initially, when you come to dashboard, that it will not look good. Okay, mm -hmm. so it has to be have some landing pages like this one. Oh, okay. Okay, so here there is nothing. If you directly come to any KPI, user will be uh, not get any path to the dashboard. So here there is some this is the logo of the company this is some information this is some uh, information about the dashboard then these are the menus or uh, site maps where we can navigate to individual pages so i'm going to click here and it will take me to the first dashboard it is predictive analytics Okay, I'll come to those topics. So let's just focus on our. Uh, uh, these are all there in the schedule. So we'll come 
as and when record when we finish all the subjects. Sir. Okay. So, all they are in the course content. So, let's focus on the on today's agenda. Uh, so, the different charts we have left so far is uh, it is uh, mapping chart, the map analysis. So, let's start with it. For GIS uh, mapping analysis, you need a dimension on a measure and the dimension can be uh, like this, where it would have um, a reference to the any arc location. Whichever the uh, place has the real time reference with any uh, reference of the arc, like Canada, India, Pakistan, okay, United States, UK. So these are all the country names. Okay. If you come to the states, then Texas, New York, uh, or uh, other states, Virginia. So these are the states. Now automatically, um, Tableau will take their references and they will bring the longitudinal latitude automatically with respect to these country or state names. So it automatically forms a data type that is which is this globe sign and when you will get this globe sign that is a GIS map. Okay. Uh, give me two minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. So, I have this data type as country, state, and city. So, I can add this country. This is in fact a, a string type of data, but as they have the relations with uh, art, Tableau automatically related longitude and latitude. It doesn't have to be there that longitude and latitude should be there in the database. Only country name can be automatically map with the longitude and latitude by Tableau. So, I am double clicking this one. 
Thank you. I mean, the reference is anyway, if you have a city, state, or this kind of names, it will automatically pick it or uh, what? Automatically. Got to have any column from which latitude column in the database. Okay. That's the beauty of Tableau. You see in the database, there's nothing related to this. Yeah. You, I think you, you know that database like here. Yes. This one. Are you having any uh, longitudinal latitude? No? No. But still, automatically it is relating. That's the beauty. Uh, so, and wherever you get the longitudinal latitude, it is automatically you get these positions on the earth. Now, simply I can I can say, then uh, uh, say these are the city names or country names and I want country wise uh, say a revenue. Now I am getting the bigger the circles are the bigger the revenues by country. Now I can make the size little bigger. So I can make it like this. To this, okay. Now all these circles are uh, swing like uh, you know apparently not so uh, different. I can start this uh, revenue to label, and I can get the label everywhere. If you want to get the higher and lower, minimum and maximum. You also getting here. This is the minimum one, or this is the maximum one. Yes. Now, by color also, you can differentiate them. Uh, could you re please repeat that? As the screen has been broken. Okay. I just added the revenue to label. Okay. 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 Fine. Now, uh, these circles are apparently swing equal. Uh, yeah. Not so different. I'm getting. So how to get the minimum and maximum out of the map? Easily, how to get? So I have added the revenue to label. Here I have the minimum and maximum option. I selected this one. In the label only, it will automatically show this is the minimum and this is maximum. Okay. Now we clear. Now here. I would again add the colors. Say if you add the color by country, it would show different colors. If you add color by revenue, it would show same color with, you know, change in the color density. So let's see, country, it's having different colors. Though it is looking nice, but for analysis, I would prefer this one because it is more easy to identify which one is bigger and smaller, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want to do this, then go to color and change the density like this. Uh, okay, the revenue is higher, will be treated as green, the lower will be treated as red. I mean, these countries or business from this country is very poor and they, uh, any further decision can be taken on this. And those are green, they are in safer side. Okay, and their business is very high. Okay. Now here, what you are getting here? And this is pretty uh, understanding that, uh, you know, the, those are green, they are in our expectation level. Those are red and even darker in red color. They are very less uh, of sales. Uh, and they need to be taken the decisions. Okay. So, this is what I have understood from here. I will change the tool D. I will change here as cells. Control is ready. So this is nice. This is one type of map chart. Uh, we'll just give the uh, name as
there are easy to duplicate and make a little different chart with the symbol and you know how to create the symbols yeah these are simple shapes mark on the shape and there i can change the symbol any different symbol like uh, So, if we want to add custom shapes, means where we can add shape. Here we have different shapes. Now, you have to go to the shape folder. One more. Oh, okay. So, while in the creation of repository, you said right, you share the okay. Yes. That's why I've used the summit icon. That's why I have. You can just put a uh, paste your icon here and it will be reflected in that, that location. Okay. This is what your icons are. See education rate in the countries. Hmm? Literacy. Maybe I can. It's high wherever you have the colors around. Make it in a single color. And this is one and this. And there are two different type of charts. With this is a normal setup, and this is a custom set. Country wise literacy. different type of charts I get from the same icon. Now let's about to draw this one. This is area chart. Okay. So this is country with the symbols whereas this should be country will be completely filled with the color. Okay. Now I would use uh, say city. Simply drag it I'm getting the entire oh uh okay why you are getting the country and the state here when you're selecting uh, for example if you're selecting city why country and state are default mm -hmm. populated Sorry, come again. When you are selecting city, mm -hmm. why the state and country are defaultly populating there? Because they were in hierarchy. I just removed the hierarchy. Okay. okay. I now remove the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. So this is my. Uh, state I'm getting, state, so I'll just simply uh, fill with this color, now I got this state, okay, uh, these are different states of US, so I'm getting the entire state filled with some colors, okay. I want to show state wise, well, Take is uh, discount. Anything I would uh, show here. Uh, it can be simply uh, be seen in the color only okay. because there is not any size. The only state would fill with the colors. 
and that will be shown here in this this way. let this be orange color and I would have this uh, this down with the label so I would just keep this as a this down by state This is one film map. it is of city do not have any geographical barrier so that's why it is not taking this map but state has a geographical barrier so it is there now um, uh, why they are not having this geographical barrier I didn't get that because city uh, up to the, this data tableau uh, map in metadata has captured so like this these are the states okay you are getting the states boundaries Whereas city boundaries they have not captured in their database, so it is not able to map it. Okay, country boundaries is there, international boundaries, boundaries. This is national boundary and it is a state-wise boundary. Okay, so but uh, if you want this uh, cities and counties means how we need to do that? Then you, you can use a symbol, symbol chart because symbol is uh, showing here. Like I, I have this city. Which is the most granular information. Now I use a symbol chart, but it does not have any boundary, so I cannot use this chart as field map. Field map takes the boundary of the location. The but at the same, uh, instead of field map, you can use uh, some other map, right? I mean, which yeah, which map uh, that is specifically? Uh -huh. Then you can use yes. I mean, any map name specifically, for example, here you are using field map, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of that, which map can be a good op if you are using city and counties? That would be symbol chart. Symbol, symbol chart would be shown. This is recommended. This is not recommended because it okay. needs a boundary. It does not have the boundary here. Oh, okay. <laughs>
So sales, 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 and our store. See. Or if I'd like to show this sales map, this is called sales. So every uh, product has certain amount of sales. Now, which product has sales in which location more? It is showing here. Why it is splitting into different things uh, based on product it is splitting? Yeah, right? Different products. For different products, here we are getting the different sales. So it is taken the product as a separate spans. Individual products as a separate span. Okay. This chart is different by its. Uh, may, this chart is different by the dimension. Mm -hmm. Different col color difference by dimension. This chart color difference by the measure. This chart color difference by measure with custom uh, share icon. This chart is a field map. Okay. So there are four different type of charts we drawn here from this. Let's this, this just add it to the dashboard. For this four dashboards, now I can just add them. If I'm clicking here, I'm not able to get the filter in other map. So I will show you one thing: how to apply filter on the charts. We have shown here right now that how to filter. Based on the filter objects as well as this legends, right? But I would show you here how to filter one chart by selection with another chart. Okay, let's see. By selection of another chart. In the dashboard level, you have to apply this filter. Dashboard, action, add action, filter. Your screen is very slow actually. <laughs> How you went to this uh, action pane? Can you repeat that once? Okay. In dashboard, you know? Yeah. Okay. Action. Oh, actions. Yeah. Add action. Yeah, add action. Okay, got it. Filter. Okay. Now these are all the four. You don't have to. You don't have to select anything here. Just simply select. Run on a single chip, single ah. select only. Okay. Okay. What's the difference we get if we are not selecting this run on single sheet and? Uh... You have to double click there. Okay. Otherwise, on single click it will be filtered. Now I'm selecting this one. You are getting? Yeah. Okay. So this applies only for uh, this maps or even for the other uh, all dashboards? Other all dashboards. I'm I'm just applying the filter on a dashboard level, so this filter will be applicable to the all object belongs to this dashboard only, not all dashboards. Okay. 
so even in the same as in uh, storyboard ha huh, yeah storyboard again it's a uh, um, kind of you know dashboard so we have to apply the storyboard is nothing there we cannot do anything you have to do in the dashboard only then you add this dashboard to story story is just a frame oh okay so this is one our selection if you just change the selection to the in the select edit make it hover if you hover it mm -hmm. then we get it to hover only Yeah. Yeah. So this is how the geographical mapping we uh, did today, and we did the action today, and we created the story. Okay. Storyboard reporting. Then we created the geographical mapping. Then action. So let's uh, uh, conclude session today. We'll meet at the same time in tomorrow. Yeah. Fine. And uh, Amit, one more thing here. We are creating the story points. I mean storyboard, right? in the storyboard if you want to do some filtrations on explicit thing just like how we do it in dashboard level uh, to just the frame you have to do everything in the dashboard and then add story to a frame oh. i mean add dashboard okay okay, okay. but we can't do anything directly in storyboard right you can do anything here. okay we got it okay sure yeah okay thank you fine amit thank you so much